Welcome back to Projects on Board. It's Roland here, and today we are kicking off right where we left off at the end of the last episode. So, we finished up heading straight down through this little strip of stores. I was going to say shops. Got torn between that and stores. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, there is a... Probably can't see it from here. There's a Time for Sport store on this little strip. Ah! Accidentally clicked off the game. There's a Time for Sport store on this strip of stores. There we go. And I would love as many baseball bats as I can get my hands on. So, coming into Riverside, so I need to need to establish a proper base. We've got five days. Five days to wait and then we can fully settle in here. So we can't can't establish a new base until the four month mark. So we've kind of been jumping between two different places as well as heading home in between gaps. So I think we're still I'll have to double check the footage, but I think we're still on the cusp of not officially making the little compound home. So yeah, we kind of need to just push our way into town and see what we can do before we officially move. And then once we move, we can start prepping, transferring gear, if that makes sense. Yeah, a lot to do. Plenty of time to do it, but I would like to crack on. I'm getting itchy. Waiting five days is far too long. Oh, Christ. What a way to start the day. That was absolutely terrifying. And I would very much like my fedora back. Please and thank you. Man. Okay, time to knock our confidence level back by about 100 years. <laughs> Get out of here, son. Okay, what we got? What we got? Now that old big dog's gone down. Please, just be a ton of bats. Oh, it's my dream. It's literally my dream. Seven. So far. We haven't even checked the back room yet. Oh, these look empty. Yeah. Tell you what. For a surprisingly very empty store, we've got incredibly lucky. Seven bats. Get that locked up. Oh, almost too lucky. Oh, no, 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 no. Gosh, my head is not in this game at all today. I think I might head back to base and just rest. Kind of just regather regav myself and take a little 20 minute break and be back <laughs> ridiculous I'm obviously not in the right frame to be playing this game today and I'm definitely going to get myself killed if I crack on so yeah I'll see you in about 20 minutes so I did actually make a promise to a nice little commenter that keeps on reminding me how much better the military backpacks are so today, oh Christ, today I'm going to fulfill that promise in my little resting period. <laughs> so I feel like, feel like I'm a little bit, a little bit less rusty, which is nice. 20 minutes out, game changer. So I mean, it's literally been a split second for you guys, but definitely need a nice little breather. But yeah, I'm going to head the whole way home and grab that pack and then probably just end up doing a round trip. But we'll see how we go. Could always stay there for a day or two. Generator's still running too. So it might actually be worth just topping some of these up. Uh, yeah, let's do maybe like three. Take fuel. All empty gas cans. Nice. Maybe do six. Definitely. No, I saw a sneaker somewhere. Get out of there, son. Guessing he wasn't a fan of the car. Yeah, plenty of room in there. And a couple of uh, couple of shotgun shells. One, two, three, four. 
That's perfect. I think I'm going to leave one just next to this, as well as re-top her up. Click it on. Classic fashion. Nice. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. So we're... Well, it's, it's kind of nice to actually head back here. We've got a few more days till we need to need to just jump ship and move town. So I reckon we could even just spend a few days back out here. So we haven't quite officially moved to a new base yet. So I did. Do you know what? No, I'll check the footage now. Yeah, we're definitely all good. So I had a, had a little mini whirly on the first where I almost stayed there, but ended up opting for the backup base instead. So we're all good. We are in the clear. I think I might get some sleep here though. Yeah, we've got plenty of frozen fish. Wonderful. I reckon... I mean, I probably didn't need to take all of that, but hey-ho, let's go. Let's get these puppies defrosted. I reckon as we start taking them, they'll just start defrosting. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I reckon eat all the smaller ones and then have a tasty snack for breakfast. But yeah, I'll see you when we get there. So I thought I'd go for a little morning stroll before it was rudely interrupted by these guys. Oh, and this last guy. <laughs> just realised I'm still carrying like 11 pounds of fish. I found wild ginseng and you eat it to restore endurance. Now that, that could be an absolute game changer for me and my little goblin pack looting habits. <laughs> I reckon that could actually come in super handy. Um, are they dangerous? No, there's no little skull next to them. Beautiful. Thank you. So we have found the Herbalist magazine. There we go. Found the Herbalist magazine, so we know that that is clear. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the back and I'm completely wrong. But yeah, we're, we're off to a pretty good start today. We're level 5 foraging. Coming along nicely. I reckon we could be level 10 within within a couple of months in Riverside. I reckon before we leave Riverside we'll smash out level 10 for sure. Probably fishing too. Uh, don't, don't do it. Don't do it, please. But yeah, I reckon foraging and fishing, maybe even farming, could be the winners of Riverside. Might finally clear them up. Carpentry, definitely going to get done, without a doubt, no questions. So it's right on the cusp. We've got like, not even 1100, we're just under. I reckon we're good on that front. The rest will kind of just come as they go. Uh, feel like I should maybe eat something. But yeah, I'm going to continue my nice morning stroll and... See you when we figure out what we're doing. So foraging is very boring to watch and do, but also incredibly rewarding. So kind of works out, but I don't want to make you guys sit through the pain of me just chatting absolute nonsense. So yeah, I'll see you when we get something more exciting to do. Well, I reckon today's the day. We officially say goodbye to this base once and for all. Now we'll probably be back if anything ever goes to part in Riverside, but we are currently three months, 27 days in, coming up. So by the time we establish our new base, it'll be smooth sailing. It'll be, be ours. We can probably be on the four month mark and we'll be good to go. I think I might just grab this. Nothing else I need, is there? This will absolutely come with me at some point, but until then, let's take all the stuff that we might need. Uh, maybe leave one of those behind, just in case. I'll take the map West Point. Yeah, the rest of that is good. Let's get it in the trunk, and we'll see you later. Unless. Yeah, no. Nothing we need. Sweet. Uh, you're probably not going to fit in there either. Beautiful. Alright, let's make a move and...
get ourselves to our new home. So uh, I did also put the military backpack on too, just before I forget to make that very clear. <laughs> I'm not being a dog, I promise. We've got a long drive ahead of us. Let's get moving. I've also got a ton of spears weighing us down too, because ain't no rest for the spear, man. I'll see you when we get there. Seem to have gotten myself a little bit lost. And I can't work out where I went wrong. <laughs> Let's try and drive in here, see what the crack is. So, yeah, I was following that road down and just kept going, basically. Kept going took a right turn I'm guessing I probably should have taken a left and now I'm not sure where I am and I'm a little bit scared you store oh I know where this is is it just up to the left of Riverside yeah yeah I feel like I know where I am okay cool order's been restored but yeah, for some strange reason, if you take one uh, right turn instead of a left, you're going to end up absolutely miles away from where you want to be, which is not ideal, but could also come in handy in means for an escape. But yeah, we've got a tiny bit of road left to clear. We're going to come through where we finished our shotgun run, which is probably not ideal, but eh, I'm sure it'll be alright. How bad can it really be? Famous last words. It's actually not so bad at all. Pleasantly surprised. Very surprised, actually. It's nice. So it kind of means that we've... Well, we've done incredibly well. And I'm very, very happy about it. Oh, beautiful. I think I'm just going to hang about here for probably half a day. Rest up. Just kind of gather ourselves. Get some... A little bit sorted maybe and then yeah I'll see you when we're done so I've basically just spent the day doing some rounds of this place and making sure we're actually good inside and out and we're pretty good so I wouldn't really mind but yeah we had a couple of stragglers dotted about I wouldn't mind checking out the backup base ah you're very close we might check out the back of base just to see if we've got any gear left there. Did have a few spears, but I feel like we don't anymore. I feel like I might grab them. Uh, which one was it? I feel like I wouldn't have left the door open. No. This one? That's the kitty. I'll leave anything in the shed. Ah, another metal sheet. Nice. Might as well grab that propane tank as well. Now that we've got a torch, it would make a ton of sense. Got that boarded back window. Did I leave the door unlocked? Is the ultimate question. Yeah, boy. Nice. Yeah, nothing here. We've got a few planks, though. Could always come in handy. Never left anything in there anyway. Definitely no food. Yeah, nothing. Well, either way. We'll keep that as the backup base regardless. Did we ever get a key? No. No, we did not. That's all good. Alright. I guess we've got a metal sheet for the prison. No, police station. One left. So we better use that. And... Maybe just unload some gear. I've got like seven spears on me, which, yeah, it's just never ideal, is it? Not good at all. Yeah, first things first. Let's dump you. Maybe leave the 1911 behind. Um, 45 round. The rest we can probably keep hold of. Crust. That bag really does make a difference. Thank you, commenter can't remember your name off the top of my head but you know exactly who you are and I really hope you're smiling at us finally finally giving in to your recommendation <laughs> and just the biggest tip of all time but yeah let's get ourselves to 
the police station or do we sleep first? Should probably sleep first. I think I might just go all balls and take this bed, you know. Be quite nice to have down at the police station. Yeah, should we do it? I feel like we should do it. I feel like it'd be quite funny. We're rocking up on day one with a brand new large oak double bed. Yeah, it's almost rude not to. Alright, I'm going to sleep here before we do that though. Play it safe and all that. Maybe just lock all the doors. Definitely safer. Um, anything in there? Should have left that behind, but that's fine. Door is locked. Beautiful. Ah, oh, a couple of tinnies as well. Thank you, beautiful. Let's get some sleep. Of course we don't have a hammer. I left the other bag at home, didn't I? Classic. Alright, well maybe... Unless there's a shed. Is there a shed? No. Little playpen. We're not far, are we? Fine. Absolute nightmare. For that, all three of you can have a very, very bad day. See ya. Uh, make it four. Gotta make my life difficult, don't you? There we go. Alright, let's go get Sammer. Alright, moment of truth. What's it gonna be? 7.5 chance of breaking, and that absolutely just crumbles. I did quite a bit for our skill though. We're now 800 off. Alright, 1, 2, 3, not quite a 4. It's gotta be another large oak bed. I think that one's for sale. Maybe this one? Ah. Oh. What are you? You're a beautiful sight, is what you are. Not a very nice sound, though. Probably make more sense to just take a single, but... Just track you down. Thanks for coming to me. Alright, let's... Do this. Got lucky to be fair. Could have snuck right in behind us. Okay, we got a one and a two. I feel like we shouldn't push our luck. Let's just try and get these there. Preferably in one piece. Two down. Off to a very good start. Only two more ridiculously heavy boxes to go. And I reckon I reckon this room's gonna be the bedroom. So we're not going to be able to clear those back rooms anytime soon. Not without a sledgehammer. So I reckon we just put them to use and make it like a storage room, I guess. Probably come in handy. See you later, office whiteboard. Actually. I feel like it would be quite cool to have like a little planning room or something. Uh, maybe not. Can't really put it anywhere. So back to the wind you go, my friend. All right, should we go do round two? Hopefully bring a full bed down here today. Yeah, let's do it. Number three and number four. Here goes nothing. Ugh, always hate these trips. We can't even like, can't even take a gun with us just as a last resort. We have just got to go all balls and hope for the best. Get some very heavy rain too. It's probably not a bad time to start a farm. Do you know what? Left the cabbage seeds back at base. So annoying. The doctor is in. Get these on the deck. All right, I think we need to take one. There we go. Ah, oh, perfectly central too. Wonderful. Very nice. All right, we're off to a somewhat good start. We should probably clean up some of this vegetation too. Don't really want to be sleeping and all of that mess. Three months, 28 days. We're close. Don't think we can officially move yet. So maybe we just take a day out somewhere. Nice. Oh. 
God, a hell of a thunderstorm out there too. It's almost too worth starting a farm. We're going to have to, aren't we? Absolutely going to have to. And we're probably also going to have to grab one more sheet. Yeah. One sheet does plenty. Crossed. Hell of a lot of back and forth today. Thank God for the powers of editing. You guys would be... Well, this would probably be like a free episode job, I reckon. Just running. Running. And more running. <laughs> it's painful. Uh, let's see what we got. Is it in the trailer or is it in a bag? Probably in a bag. One single packet of cabbage seeds. Plus an extra bunch. I think I left the others in the van, didn't I? Absolutely did. Oh, that's so annoying. Got one metal sheet though. That's good. That is good. Um, have you got any food? Just realised how loud that storm's actually going to be. Hopefully that's made it somewhat better for you. <laughs> Alright, let's again head back. So we keep on keeping on. Ah, exhausted now too. Wonderful. Alright, let's get this last metal sheet up. Uh, maybe close the window first. Refill our water. Life's looking good. And then just a little mini farm. Just so we can well make the most. Do we do it around the front or around the back? Probably front. Chances are I'm gonna block off that entire back section anyway. One, two, three, and four. One space between. So the seeds of life, ladies and gents. Uh, where's the other pack? Crack them puppies open. Hmm. Why have we only got 14? Maybe it's just not picking from those. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. 9, 18, 27. Perfect. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Life's looking good. Life is looking wonderful. Life is looking very, very sweet. Uh, what do we need for these? Just a hammer. Okay, hammer and saw. Alright, well, we don't have to figure this out right now. We can definitely get some sleep. We can definitely get ourselves a little bit more organised and then, yeah, just sort of regather ourselves in the morning. Hopefully this rain kicks out all night and we end up with some very well watered plants but yeah i'll see you guys bright and early the rain cracked on all night these should be incredibly well watered oh it's like a dream come true i might even just ah, have i got an axe we do beautiful so i might just do you know what thinking about it Got a couple of trees down there. Ah, oh, what we don't have is the main ingredient. Bin bags. We got any at all? One. What do we do with the one in here? Probably just deleted it. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't even blame myself. Don't know why, but that felt a lot easier than just unequipping it. Strange the way my brain works sometimes. Alright, hopefully there's a big boy around there somewhere. Nah. We've got one small boy. Yeah, if I can get a nice... Brilliant. If I can get a nice water collector set up before we even move, that'd be honestly unreal. So I'd like to get a nice sink set up at this base too. Whole lot of plans. A whole lot of time to kill, basically. See ya. Very nice. Oh, uh, did actually see two just buried in there. Uh, 
minus one. Should pass the three. That should be number four. Yeah. There she be. See ya, son. And the rest of you can do whatever you want to do. I could not care less. Ah, okay. Maybe I do care a touch. Only when you come in this way. And you can take that. And we... We can take some of those. Please tell me I brought the saw. Yeah, boy. Don't know how many we need, but I'm just going to take most of them. Carpentry, furniture, or in collector barrel. And if we set it just there, should be able to dig out a couple more furrows on the other side. Yeah, very nice. Grab the corpse. Get her out of here. Yeah, we're looking pretty sweet. Love's looking pretty good. Handful of Zeds to take care of. We are heavily overweight. Maybe I don't do it like that. <laughs> Think before we speak kind of thing. There we go. Come on then, fellas. Been waiting for this moment for a while. To be fair, kind of thought you'd all disappear with the, uh, the noisy shotguns, but I guess we can't always be lucky, eh? Kind of got to deal with our consequences sometimes. Deal with our actions, so deal with our consequences. Come on, fellas. Come on, there we go. Easy does it. Very good, very nice. And I think she should probably be the last one. Other than this little straggler down there. See ya. What are the chances of us getting a helicopter on day one? Probably quite high. Should probably keep an eye on a radio. Might even be worth pulling one in. I'm surprised there's not a ham radio here. But yeah, I think for now I'm going to love you and leave you in the comfort of our almost new base. We've got one more day to kill, and we can't stay here tonight. So we're only on... We've only been on one night, but two and then potentially three nights will make this place official. We can't do that until four months, so we've got one day. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you just here. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to members for supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.